for our math today, we're going to be talking about subtracting. Remember, subtracting means to take away. Our number we start with is the larger number, and we take away from that larger number. So really what we're doing is we're breaking apart the whole number and putting it into parts. So remember when we were adding, when we were doing adding a few weeks ago, we had We had a part, a part, and a whole. This week what we're doing is we're taking our whole and we're breaking it down into the two parts. So we're breaking apart this number. We're breaking apart the whole number into two parts. So if I had seven fish, three are big, the rest are small, how am I gonna solve that? Well, I cannot have any more fish than seven because it says I have seven fish. So I'm gonna draw seven fish. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven fish. Three of those fish are big. So I have one big fish. This might be for big. Two big fish. And three big fish. The rest of my fish are the small fish. So I have three big right here. The rest are small. I have one, two, three, four small fish. So this problem shows seven total fish minus or taking away three big fish gives us the answer or difference of four. That there are four fish left over that were small. Okay, let's look at another one. Here's my hole, and here are my parts. If I have six cups, four of them are big, the rest are small. So I know that four are big. And then I don't know how many are small. So I have six cups. I'm going to draw four big cups. One, two, three, four, and the rest are small. Five, Six. Remember, I needed to get to six. This problem with the math box, with it written six and four, shows six minus four equals something. Well, these are my four big ones, so I need to take them away. Because we already know how many are big, we need to know how many are small. I have two small cups. So six take away four equals two. Okay, let's look at another one. If I have seven folders, some of those folders are yellow, six are red. Okay, so here is my whole number seven folders. I cannot have more than seven folders because it tells me that I have seven folders. Six of those folders are red. The rest are yellow. How many are yellow? If I just look at my math box, this is showing me seven minus six equals something. 
but I want to draw my folders. Six of them are red, remember? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the other is yellow. Use my highlighter here. Or the rest are yellow. Let's count and see if we need any more. Remember, how many folders did we need? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven folders. Six of those folders are red. How many are yellow? One. Seven, take away six, equals one. Let's look at another one. There are eight pencils. Can't have any more than eight because there are eight of them. Eight pencils. Three of the pencils are short. The rest are long. How many pencils are long? So we have to draw eight pencils. We can also think eight minus three equals something. So we have eight pencils. Three of them are small, so I'm gonna draw three small pencils to start with, or short pencils. But I gotta keep counting up till eight. But since it says the rest are long, I'm gonna draw long pencils for the rest of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pencils. Does that match up here? You bet it does because we had eight pencils, eight pencils. Three of them are short. So what we're doing is we're taking away the ones that we know that are short. Three that are short and the rest are long. How many are long? One, two, three, four, five. So eight pencils, Three are short, five are long. So eight, that's eight, minus three equals five. One way now we can check this to see if we did our math correct is go backwards. We can now check to see if five plus three equals eight. It should because we have a part and a part and a whole. But if we go back, we have one, two, three, plus five more, one, two, three, four, five, right? So we have three, we keep counting, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's our three, here's our five. Did three plus five equal eight? Yes, it did. Okay, so this is a way we can check our work. When we're subtracting, we check our work by adding these two numbers to see if they equal the whole number. It's another way to help us see that we did it right. I'm going to try another one. There are nine fish. So we have nine fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's a little, little mouth. 
nine fish, okay? Five of the fish are red and the rest of them are yellow. How many are yellow? Well, we know we have nine fish. That's our whole number. We put that in our whole box. Then we know five of them are red and the rest are yellow. So we're gonna color our red fish. As we're coloring them, we're taking them away. One, two, three, four, five. Those are our red fish. The rest of them are yellow. So we've just a nine, nine minus five equals this amount right here. Let's color them and find out. One, two, three, four. So we have nine. Minus five equals four. These were crossed out. This is what was left. So on your math lesson today with your practice, continue to think of ways you can solve the problems using a math box, using pictures, or using objects that you are given to drag them away.